So I want to share two main things with you today, and you might want to write this down. Destination flexibility and process flexibility. Now, this all has to do with starting your dream, whether that dream is your personal dream, whether it's something you are thinking about with a business you want to start or a business you already have. These two things are incredibly, incredibly important when you're thinking about where you want to go and how you want to get there. So the idea of destination flexibility, let me tell you about why this is really important to me. So a lot of people see Boss Babe, they see millions of followers, they see this brand that's a household name and people kind of expect that I knew exactly what I was doing when I started this, right? And the truth is I didn't. I knew where I wanted to go generally. Um, I knew the kind of people that I wanted to serve. I knew what I wanted to do in the world, but I wasn't fully sure what the vehicle would look like or how it would end, uh, end up turning out. But one thing about me is I just love taking action. Like I love just rolling my sleeves up and diving in, even if I'm not fully clear on where I'm going. I love just rolling my sleeves up. And so Boss Babe started as an Instagram account. And a lot of people at the time, and this was in 2014, a lot of people at the time were saying, wait, you wanted this to be a business, but it's an Instagram account. How are you going to turn that into a business? People at the time hadn't really seen the ability to turn an Instagram account into a real business. They hadn't really seen any of that. Influencer marketing was quite new. um, And influence, I mean, you're an influencer if you had, you know, a couple of thousand followers. Not that that's not a lot, but it's obviously changed significantly. And so a lot of people didn't see that. But I knew I had a destination in mind and I was really flexible in the process. So one thing that I just prioritized doing was putting one foot in front of the other and kind of tuning into what my skills were and what I could offer. Because my belief is that if we hold on too tight to the ideal outcome, we really block ourselves from it, right? And so what I mean by that is we're talking about starting a dream, getting to a dream. One thing that I want you to let go of is the idea that your dream is fixed, right? So the idea that once you hit this goal, you'll instantly be happy forever and nothing ever needs to change, right? Because it's probably not going to happen. You're going to hit that goal. You're going to achieve that dream. And then you're going to be thinking about what are my next goals for maintaining where I'm at or maybe taking the next step or, you know, doing something else that feels aligned to me in that chapter of my life because dreams are not fixed. And the best person I think that talks about this is Simon Sinek. He has an amazing book called um, The Infinite Game. And he talks about infinite and finite games. So finite games are those with a clear end goal and a winner, right? Like a game of soccer. An infinite game is is the one with no end goal and no clear winner. And so that applies to business, right? There's not really an end goal and a clear winner when it comes to your business life. This one business you're in, maybe, but not your business life or your career. You know, getting that promotion isn't the finite goal because once you get that promotion, you might then decide to hop into another company or you might look for the next promotion or the goal, if it's to start a family, probably isn't the finite goal because once you have a family, you then want to invest in the family. Like whatever it is, it's it's not finite. It's infinite, right? So when you get there, it's one goal and you'll probably set another. So knowing that means that you can be flexible in that destination, right? You can be flexible in where you're going. If the idea of this big dream, this big goal that you have is really overwhelming, I want you to stop holding onto it so tightly and just explore what it might feel like to hold it lightly. Right now, I'm going to encourage you, if you're watching this, put your hands out and really hold on to that dream, like really hold on to it, that big goal that you're wanting to achieve, like really hold on to it. And once you're holding it, I want you to feel the energy and like, there's a lot of energy in that dream for you and that goal for you. There's, there's a lot there. What would happen if you started to loosen your grip a little bit? If you took a breath and loosened your grip, the dream hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, but it feels a lot more achievable, right? 
who's feeling that I can see, I can see a bunch of you. And so what I want to show you through this is if that goal that you're working towards and you're gripping so tightly feels so scary and unachievable, be willing to let go of the grip a little bit and to think about, you know, a goal that might be a little bit closer to you, a goal that might be a little bit more achievable. If you've been thinking about, you know, if you're, you know, a manager and you've got your eyes set on the CEO role, maybe loosen it up a little bit and think, you know what? Well, my actual next goal is, is this role because I'm playing an infinite game. And I know once I get there, I'm going to hop to the next one. And once I get there, I'm going to hop to the next one, right? We, it, we often think about manifestation and, and goal setting as we need to have the absolute clearest picture of our North Star and where we're going, which is just not the case because you and I both know that when you get there, you're going to keep pushing. So I want you to just hold it very, very lightly. And so when we are you know, working through frameworks, am I thinking about where we're going, Being, be willing to identify what you might be holding onto too tightly and make sure that with this goal you've got top of mind that you're holding onto, you're not putting all of your eggs in there, all of your happiness, all of your joy, all of your presence. Because if we're just tightly holding onto this thing and kind of willing ourselves there, we kind of forget about where we're at right now. And we can forget about the presence. We can forget about happiness. We can just get so caught up in next, 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 and more, 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 so tightly gripping to what this dream is that we really don't take a second to stop, lighten the grip, breathe, and think about being happy right now, being happy without the big destination, without the big goal, without the big dream achieved. And so that's why I really, really want to emphasize destination flexibility. And if you can be willing to be flexible on exactly what that destination is, it's going to feel a lot more achievable. And the second thing that I want to talk about is process flexibility. All right. So we've talked about, you know, A to B, B being the dream, A being where you are now, you know, you're letting go of of the the tight grip you've got on B being flexible, that that's going to evolve. And we're not playing a finite game. We're playing an infinite game and we get to hold it loosely. We still get to keep an eye on it because when you let go, it didn't go anywhere, did it? You still got an eye on it, but you're holding it a little bit loosely and you're being willing to be in the present and be joyful. So that's where process flexibility comes on because I don't know about you, but I want to enjoy my life now. Not in six months when the thing has happened, not in five years when the thing has happened. And I'm not saying that the situation we're in right now might feel good. You know, um, I was recently in a session with my coach and he identified for me where I was kind of placing my happiness on a certain outcome. And he was like, listen, the outcome might happen. It might not happen, but we probably won't know whether it's happened for another three months from now. Right. Can you acknowledge that? And I said, yep, you're totally right. I, I have no idea whether this outcome is going to happen in three months from now. I really want it to, but I have no idea if it will. And he said to me, so you can spend this three months being really sad that this thing hasn't happened and being really, you know, mopey and out of the present. And then if the outcome happens, great. You'll probably shift right away and you'll feel great. But you've wasted three months feeling sad. You've wasted three months not being present. You've wasted three months being disappointed about an outcome that didn't even happen yet. And that really, really stuck with me because I realized we have to be flexible on how the process is going to go. And I want to feel really good about the process. I want to feel really good about where I'm at in the present while knowing I've got my eye on where I'm going. This can be your day for personal growth. This can be that day you committed to and you remember and you go, that was the day I got myself a community. I got better coaches. I committed to making my life the absolute best that I could. This is that day. Make today your growth day. Click the button on this page and sign up right now.